hi guys welcome back <laughs> so if you watched my previous video it was my every year I do my Bath and Body Works uh, annual candle day haul so I did my candle day haul and I thought I was gonna leave it at that I wasn't sure at the end of it I said that I thought that I might be going back to the store one more time just to see if they were putting some new t things out and I was upset that I wasn't able to find wine cellar and some things like that and I was coming back to my hometown to my apartment to my city and I was gonna look at the Bath and Body Works here so needless to say there's a part two because I did go back to the store so I've gone back to the store twice now the first time I went back um, was last night after work after I did come back here to my city um, and I was able to find well I'll tell you I'll show you guys what I was able to find and then I went back today a little later although one of my friends told me that the store looked like there was really nothing left um, I went back earlier <laughs> wait so I've gone three times I went back early oh I went back this morning when the store opened which was seven here because one of my friends wasn't able to um get to the stores last night and she was afraid that she wasn't going to be able to find unicorn sprinkles by the time that she uh went out which would have been true because it's all gone now um so I did grab her a unicorn sprinkles and it's over there on my table so I uh I went this morning I grabbed a couple and then I went back this afternoon after my gift card process and my friend who told me that there was pretty much nothing left in the store was absolutely correct because by this afternoon there was like nothing so I threw on I literally if you guys can tell I have on like no face no face makeup I threw on some lashes and some lipstick because I was like I at least want to look like I'm awake because I'm really tired right now so um I did pick up 13 additional candles I'll just leave it at that <laughs> um and I was out of like coupons and things today so I just picked up some things that I thought I needed to add to my collection because after I got home and really put everything on the shelf I was like you know I kind of want some more calming scents I kind of want some things that are more almost like spa like because as I get older like I'm like you know mid 30s at this point as I get older I'm I'm starting to like scents that are a little different and I think that that just happens even in like the fragrances that I wear on my body um sometimes I want to smell things that are like like really sugary really sweet really candy like really fruity but then there are other times where I like fresh clean things so I needed a few more candles to um to kind of round that out now I was thinking that by the time I went back uh this afternoon that it would be um more sense like some stores were allowed to put some of the stuff that's supposed to come out tomorrow I mean Monday on shelves they were allowed to put the stuff out today but my store did not do that so it was just the regular stuff so I didn't get anything that like is exclusive anything that's new and I'm kind of bummed about that but it is what it is um, because there are some things that I really want to smell that are coming out Monday uh, but they didn't put any of that out and I think that um, but interestingly I haven't seen any stores around here that have sold out so usually by this time there are signs out that say sold out now this morning when I did get to the store when it was opening um, I was 14th in line so there was a line at 7 a.m. and then by the time we made it in the store I think I counted it was 40 something people so there are small lines but nothing like like this this store before like was chaos like they had to put like I said I, mean, I think I might have said that in the last video but I'm not sure they had to put things in the mall so that the lines could be controlled because it was all over the mall before and it was like a two hour wait to get into the store so nothing like that again although I don't know if Bath and Body Works is really going to feel that impact or if it's different in other cities because the shelves are still empty like even though people are slowly trickling in I feel like people the people who are able to purchase people who are purchasing this year are purchasing kind of a large amount um so anyway I said all that to say, I'm going to show you the 13 additional candles I got beyond my 42 that I showed you yesterday. So if you haven't seen that video, it is going to be linked up um, above. So I'll start here. This is not one of those fresh scents. This is one that they had before. Do you guys remember when Bath & Body Works had those marble top uh, candles? That had to be like 2018, 2019. Right, because it was before the panini. Um, so one of the candles that I had at that time was this one, and I remember really liking it. So this is cinnamon spice vanilla, and I really like this white more in packaging, like the really understated and like sophisticated. Yeah, this one's good. This one almost tastes tastes like smells kind of like a, a cinnamon bun. It tastes like it smells like a taste. My God, it does smell like something you could eat. So this is fresh ground cinnamon, sugar crystals, Tahitian vanilla bean, and that's the only notes that are in it. It smells like a cinnamon bun, like just a really, really rich cinnamon bun. So when it burns, it's really light, but 
it, it's it's a nice scent so i got one of those they did have a few of those on the table i think most of these are in this crate i have two duplicates oh i have a really exciting duplicate here it's not in this one yet but i did find wine cellar this is not the one that i was really excited about i did find wine cellar so I did pick up two of those. I did pick up two wine cellars. Here's the thing. I think that I picked this up because it has so much hype. Like people have talked about it for so long. But I'm a little underwhelmed. I don't know how I feel about it. So I really, like if I burn it, like even begin to burn it and I don't like it, I need to read up on what the Bath and Body Works um, return policy or exchange policy is now because I know that it has changed. I need to read up on that. But these notes are mulled apples, fresh fig, and cedar wood. It's so light. I don't know. I don't I don't know what to it, it does almost smell like if you had a glass of wine in front of you and you were smelling it like a dark wine, like a Merlot. It almost smells like Nora Cabernet. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to try it, but I did pick up two of them just in case it is as good as everybody says. Um, and I want a backup or to. Well, I do burn multiple candles at once. Like right now, I have three vanilla beans burning in multiple rooms, so I got two of these. Um, next candle. What are you? Oh, peach Bellini because I forgot to get more than one peach Bellini yesterday. This packaging is interesting. Come on, stop trying to focus on my tree. Focus on the candle. Okay, so peach Bellini. If you have gotten anything from Bath and Body Works before, you've probably smelled peach Bellini. It is a classic. Um, succulent white peach, sparkling Prosecco, and sweet orange. I did smell this one in the video yesterday. It's a good. It's it's very much like peach with a little bit of champagne in the background. Um, I do really like this one in spring, so I will probably burn both of the ones that I got during the sale during springtime. My next one, huh, this one shocked me. I almost wish I had gotten multiples. I kind of thought I did, but I didn't. Stop focusing on the tree, my God. So this is white tea and jasmine. This one shocks me because I don't like jasmine. I do not like the scent of jasmine, but this is one of those clean spa like ones that i'm talking about like when this burns you're just gonna feel calm you're just gonna feel kind of like a peaceful peaceful vibe um i think it's the white tea like the white tea in every candle that i've smelled the white tea in it is very very calming very relaxing very spa like um so this is crisp white tea soft jasmine petals and fresh bergamot now i didn't think i liked bergamot but I feel like this one's gonna be a good one. I probably should have gotten more. That's like my sleeper of the, of the sale. I didn't know that that one was gonna be so good. And this one grew on me. I saw this one every time I went in the store and I wasn't sure <laughs> about it. Um, but I smelled it the last time I was in there and they only had like two left. And I was like, you know what? I think I kind of like banana bun cake. I'll give it a go, but only one because I feel like I'll get really sick of this really quickly. Um, yeah, it just smells like a bun cake. <laughs> It literally does smell exactly like what it says, a banana bun cake, like a bakery, or like a banana nut muffin is almost like what it smells like to me. So this is sweet banana, toasted walnut, and fresh cinnamon. So yeah, it's like a banana nut muffin. Um, and then the last one in here, oh, I know what this one is. This one is uh, Tis the Season, which is a classic Christmas one. It sells out really fast during Christmas time. I got this one because Christmas week, I will burn it. Because I do, I did, and I think I said that. I think I said I want just one Christmas candle. Um, and I do have a single wick that I'll probably burn at the same time left from last year. So again, this is Tis the Season. I don't really like the packaging this year. It is what it is. This is Rich Red Apple and Sweet Cinnamon and Cedar Wood. So yeah, it just smells like Christmas. It's good though. It's a good Christmas scent. It's not overwhelming in the um, cinnamon or the cedar wood. Um, the apple does come through. So it's like a sweet Christmas candle if that makes sense. So that's the first seven. We'll go into this crate. Ha, this is one of the ones I'm really excited about. Dream Bright. So this one sold out really quickly everywhere. And it has been impossible to get for like a while now. But I was standing in there last night and this girl walked by who was like restocking the shelves. And I saw a box on the bottom and I saw 3W Dream Bright. And I was like, excuse me, is that a box of Dream Bright? And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, can you open it? And she's like, you want one or two or three or what? And I was like, I just need two. So I got those. I don't think they even made it to the shelf because once i said that a lot of people were like oh let me smell it so that box never made it to the shelf but i did pick up two dream brights which you guys know is one of the new scents um the bath and body works just put out it smells like like why i sell mon Paris to me um but it's really good in the candle too 
Um, it's really good. <laughs> um, so this is Sapphire Berries, Night Blooming Orchid, and Crystallized Vanilla. As you guys will notice, a lot of the notes in these candles that I like have vanilla in them. This is good. This is also good on the body, like in the body mist and the body wash and the body. It's good. Dream Bright's a good one. So I got two of those, luckily. Um, and the others are also duplicates. So I got two more unicorn sprinkles. And I told you guys yesterday, this smells just like candy. It's literally like candy. Um, so this is fluffy cotton candy, rainbow candy drops, and sugar lemon. Like... It's the sweetest of sweets. Like this is, when I say I'm like kind of, sometimes I want to smell super sweet, sometimes I want to smell super fruity, kind of juvenile. This is the epitome of that, right? This is the epitome, whereas the next one I'm going to show you is like the antithesis of that. So this is uh, Unicorn Sprinkles. Again, I got two more of those. I think I showed you guys two yesterday. So I was kind of heavy on the Unicorn Sprinkles this year. And then the last two I got, I showed you guys this one yesterday too, but I wanted two more because after I smelled that one yesterday, I was like, no, I need that. This is the one that made me like spa. I need something like that because it smells like a spa. So this is white tea and sage. I got two of those. These were off of the show. I, I couldn't find them after yesterday. Um, and this is, oh no. Y'all hear that? I hate when Bath and Body Works candles do that. Oh! So this is sparkling bergamot, white tea, and fresh sage. My phone is ringing. I'll call them back. Um, so yeah, this is focus, focus. I can't. White tea and sage, but this one literally smells like a spa. It's so calming. So this is um, sparkling bergamot white tea. Oh, I already said that. I already said that. I got thrown off because my my phone rang. But this is literally like if you go in the spa and you get a facial and you're just sitting there and like there's all those scents. This is exactly what this smells like. Or when you walk in the door of like a boutique, some boutiques smell a lot like this. So those are the 13 that I got on day two of Candle Day. This is the end of Candle Day. I don't think if I went back to any store there would be really anything left. I didn't find what I really wanted to find were some of the glass lit candles I didn't find them in any store I went to and I went to the opening of the store yesterday and the opening of the store today so I don't think they were out there in my areas um so I'm a little sad about that because I wanted at least I'm sorry these keep <laughs> rolling up I wanted at least one um glass lit candle but I didn't find any so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I am going to plan on putting, I know it's been a minute since I like consistently, if you're not new here and you've been here for a minute, <laughs> it's been a minute since I consistently had some videos, but I have a lot that I just need to edit and get up. So I hope you hang around with me a little bit more during this season. Thank you guys again so much. Bye!